here. All right. Is everybody in the room? Come on in the room. And on a separate tab, you should have nowcomment.com. Yes. And you should have comment. long division and the second version for group. Drop B. two. Drop two of five. Now yeah. comment <laughs> in another tab. Drop two of five. Even if you've moved on to three, come back to two for today's class. And we're going, I'm going to share my screen. I'm scrolling down to paragraph 34. And what we'd like you to do is watch okay. what I'm doing and uh, do it yourself. You didn't, you didn't share your screen, Paul. I know. I'm doing it now. Um, do, 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 present. Where's my Justin? <laughs> I know. I heard that. Mm -hmm. he, he lost his mind for a minute. He All right. How are we doing? Could we get a volunteer to read? What we're going to show you today is how AI can be a reading partner with you, a thinking partner, we call them, um, that we've designed. And then we're going to show you at the end of the class how you can design them yourself. Okay. First, let me say this. Yes. Get off your phones, people. We're on the computer right now. Put your phone to the side so that you can follow along. Yeah, we got a lot going on you, here. You'll so have time for your phone in a minute. But right now, put your phone down. All right, Paul, now you can go. Ahead. I need a volunteer to read paragraph 34 for us. Volunteer. Chris, come on, baby. <laughs> I couldn't believe Grandma was talking like that in front of the dead lady. With her voice, her body, everything shrunk. It was like she wasn't even grandma anymore. I never heard grandma say man to anyone, to someone who was younger than her. The rumor was that grandma actually brought the Jerry, not Gary, not Gary Curl. What? <laughs> Go ahead, just keep reading. Oh, the Jerry, not Gary Curl, to the, Mal the, Malahats, the Malahats. Malahatchee. Malahatchee from Milwaukee, back in the early 80s now she was acting, now she was acting like she couldn't even pronounce it right all because she was talking in front of a weird looking white woman who couldn't even pronounce so and good so, so, so. good cool thank you who was that who read for me mr chris okay, thank you thank you so much mr. So, chris. <laughs> all right so you have already or three of your um peers thank you. <laughs> other students in this class or another class have already commented on paragraph 34 mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm circling that over here okay um but i'm going to go and i'm going to click on 34 <coughs> and i could go in and make a comment by putting a title or a summary in the top box so look up to everybody box. look up look down look up look down and then, yeah, it's kind of tricky. We want you to look both places there and then try it yourself, too. We're going to hit Ask AI, which is right here. Um, there's also a little AI button in the, right up by paragraph 34 in the upper right-hand corner. But hit Ask AI. And we're going to choose. There are about 20 to choose from here, but diff different thinking partners. We're going to choose a gender feminist scholar. Mm -hmm. Since we're talking about gender in the text, and this is our gender literature class, anyway. Now, um, we, need, now we need a question. Could somebody pose a question about this paragraph? About you the have as a reader? text. Any question is a fine question. Elena, you had a question? Hmm. You raise your hand. You don't never, you never raise your hand for me? No. Chris? Oh, no, who who else? Because Chris read it, so I know you have a question because you were the reader. So anybody else have a question as he was reading that, as you were reading that? What question did you have? Anybody? Tim? Why does City's grandma's behavior change? Why does City's grandma's 
behavior change? Good question. Grandmom's behavior change. Right, Timothy? Okay. You all can see as he's typing it in? All right. You see on top the gender feminist scholar? All right. So you, he's chosen a thinking partner, the gender feminist scholar. And then I put a question. A note for later. We're not going to do it today uh, unless we get time. But um, you could put a note in here about yourself as a reader. It could be something like, I'm really uh, loving this book, and it's, uh, but I'm confused. You could put anything about yourself as a reader. That would help, help the AI. But we're not going to do that part. Notice it's optional. So we have the paragraph. We have the thinking partner. We have the question. Ho hopefully you've done that on your own. We're going to hit continue. While it's going out to AI, again, it takes a minute for it to take into consideration all of that. The paragraph, the thinking partner that we've designed, and your question. And it's come back with a... It, it put the question in that top box. And then I need another volunteer to read this. Read what it. AI has brought back. Okay. Uh, let me blow it up some. Um, mm -hmm. Amani, read for us, please. You can look on, on the screen, too. I have it blown up. Okay. We can see in the text that Kitty's grandmother's behavior changes drastically when in the presence of the white woman. This suggests that perhaps Kitty's grandmother is trying to accommodate and perform a particular kind of gender role expected mm. by the white woman. Grandmom's Grandma's sudden change in behavior shows that gender roles and expectations can be so, socially constructed and enforced by those who follow. From a gender slash feminist perspective, this begs the question of why might city's grandmother feel the need to perform in such a way and how these traditional gender roles limit who she is and who she is able to do, what she's able to do. Understanding the reasons behind city's grandmother's performance of traditional gender roles can help us see the way that gender power are in Intimately, intimately, intimately connected. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Quick thoughts. What do you think of that? What do you think, Dave? Get off your phone for a minute and be in the lesson. Sorry. Teach for you too. All right. So, what do you think about that response? Or do you have? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Would you take away? Add something to it? Turn your sound off. All right. Uh, Justin and then Dave. Uh, I think it was good, but it doesn't really, it doesn't feel like it naturally generated a comment. Like it doesn't really seem like anybody would take that while reading this book. All right. It's Fair. Right. Yep, yep. You said the same thing, Harmony? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm coming for your comment. Uh, Dave? Um, I think he answered the question pretty well, but I think, um, like, when I always answer questions based on, like, the reading I like to. Oh, and it didn't use any evidence. Yeah. Okay. What were you saying? Somebody turn your mic off over there. Um, um, I mean, I personally don't see an issue with it because I feel like I'm not expecting it to give me like, a lot of information, but it gives you enough context for you to understand or get the answer to what you ask. Like, I feel like that's enough context with the question that's asked. Okay. Did you hear all that, Paul? I did. Great, great. Those are great thoughts. Um, I want to show you that, and so look up at the screen again. Um, there's a resubmit button. I could change the question before I resubmit, but when I resubmit, it's going to take the same thinking partner, the same paragraph. In this case, I did not change the question. And it's going to give me another version. And look at the question at the top. It's an important one to be thinking about when you're working with AI in general, but here. Which is more helpful, which is more honest, and which is more and the least harmful? It's not harm, it's harmless. All right. Um, and I, this one's, I'll read this one. So this is a second version of the same thing we asked it. This time it says, we can see that this text that we can see in this text that grandma, uh, 
the gra that Grandma of City is adapting her behavior to maintain a respectful image in front of this unfamiliar white woman. From a gender feminist perspective, what is the significance of Grandma's behavior and the white woman's reaction to her? How does this text show us the dynamics of power between genders in terms of social, education, respect, and hierarchy? How does this text reflect negativity on the objectification of different identities? All right, I'm gonna say I like the first one better, but anybody have anybody else have any thoughts? Which one do you like better between the two? I cut it. Anybody respond? Which one do you like better, or not? Or are they almost the same? You think they're both cool? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna select the first one. I you know just to, I, we're just kind of showing you that's the way you want to think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and notice I could resubmit again mm -hmm. and get even a third version. I could do this as many times as I really want to until I get something that's useful and that's um, not that's accurate and that doesn't have any biases in it. All right. Um, and blah, 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 I'm waiting for that. Maybe I'll just select that. Okay. So here's what here's what you do once you're ready. You can go in and you can edit this because when it goes up, it's going to have your name on it, and it's so it's going to say that you you did some work on this to make sure it's correct. Um, you can so you can go in and you can add a sentence here, or you could take a sentence out, you could do whatever you needed. And then you're gonna hit start conversation. And that's gonna pop up over here. Here's paragraph 34, right? Okay, so Timothy, great. You already put one up? Go uh, ahead, Tim. Okay. You did too, Chris? Oh, you right. just loading. Okay. And you can you can take it you can do this on a different paragraph as well. Mm -hmm. We're just focusing on the one paragraph to show you. But but what we want you to do is as you're reading, we want you to start using these AI thinking partners to help you with your reading. I'm going to show you another example, and this time we need you to choose one. Somebody um, choose one from the drop down menu. Anybody? Somebody. Esther, choose one from the drop-down menu of thinking partners, which thinking partner would you like for us to sample? It's, it's on the website, baby. It's on the thinking partner. Which which one? Elena is going to do one. The translator. And is that oh, that's interesting. Oh, the TikToker. She, she wants the TikToker. OK, so I picked the TikToker. Now we need a question. What do you? What question do you have about this paragraph? Which, which paragraph are we on? The same Thir paragraph. Thirty-four. Yep. Same. All one. right. So ask ask it a question with, and you're using the TikToker thinking partner. What question do you have? Yes, uh, Dan, I'm gonna step on your big toe because you took too long. All right. Somebody come up with a question. Francisco, you have a question for it. Y'all see that your phones take you away from learning. That's why it's called a smartphone. So what does that make you? Hmm. Stupid. Come on, people. We got to come away from these phones sometimes because it's taking us down low. How low can you go? Come on. Some question you have about the grandma, the narrator, the way it's written, anything. Anything, anybody. Amen. Justin, come up with a question. Huh? Which paragraph do you want? Oh, go to one of your comments. All right. Which one? It's section drop two of five is what we're in. Now you put yourself out there, man, and now you don't know. I'm looking, but I don't know right now. Just choose one. Any, many, many more. I mean, it's 
Catch a paragraph by the toe. Okay, we're going to use paragraph 82. 82. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, would you read it for us? Um, sure. You're the um, only one that made a comment there, too. Go ahead. It's a great, it's a great paragraph. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Grandma looked at me in a way that made me feel like I was wearing something top notch, like a leather tuxedo with matching during the 60s. Mm. Thank you. And even though my mama had seen me naked way more times, I felt less worried about grandma seeing me. <laughs> oh, grandma had a way of looking at you when you were naked that didn't make you feel terribly bad. That's all. Most other folks, especially my mama, looked at me naked and made me feel like the fattest, softest, and that's out of all the states in the Southeastern Conference. My mama tried not to look like that. You can tell that she was trying too hard by the way she keeps. She kept cutting her eyes away from me and saying stuff like, we should probably start buying Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Okay. Sit down. That, that's so cool. interesting how people overeat, but then they buy diet beverages, but I'm not going to talk about that. So do you have a, que a question about this paragraph? Anybody have a question about this paragraph? Tim? Why does but I want to like, see like, an AI's response to it. Um, why does City not mind his grandma seeing him naked? Okay. Why does City not mind his grandma? But now this is a TikToker lens, all right? TikToker thinking part. Right. That's good. Why does City not mind his grand mother seeing him naked? Now, Dave had another question who, who zeroed us in. What was the question? I want to know why he thinks a less tuxedo looks nice in Jordan 6s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which, um, that would be good for the TikTok. Yeah, that would, more. yeah, it'll be better for TikTok, but we could try both of them. I mean, what other, um, well, never mind. So, what was the second question? Um, why does he think the tuxedo, a tuxedo matches Jordan 6s? Mm, the Jordan 6s. Why does he think a tuxedo? <laughs> matches Jordan sixes and um I can see both their I can see both their brains working in this because Dave does a lot with sneakers. All right. So here here's the thing. I don't know what's gonna happen when I've asked it two questions, but that's yeah. that's kind of what we're at. We're on sort of on a edge right here. We're kind of figuring that out. I'm not putting anything in about me here, but you could put something about yourself there. Oh, put I, I, I like. Oh, you already did it. Sorry. Like, oh, you could put I like sneakers. Yeah. Uh -huh, I'm a sneaker connoisseur. The next time. Sorry, that would have been smart. Yeah, that's a good. That's the kind of thing you want to put in here, and then AI can then say, "We'll say back to you, hey, since you like sneakers, here's what I think." All right. Mm -hmm. But what what we're gonna what's happening here is it's reading the paragraph. Yeah. It's looking at our questions, and then it's coming up with, it's not going to come up with the video. Where are you going with my box? Take a but tissue. It's going to come up with a description of a TikTok video. Give me my box. All right. Who wants to read this for me? Please. That, what? Who said that in an English language arts class that that's too much? I know I didn't hear that here. You'll see it. It flows. Who wants to read this for us? Nate will read it. No, I, no, no, no. Here, no, it's on. It's on the he board. I said it was too much, Miss Benson. Uh, and now you're going to read it. I can't even see it. It's up here on the board. I, I Blown up. Oh, let me put it to 200 points then. <laughs> Boop, there it is. Shaka laka laka laka. <laughs> Boom. Read, I'll read the second paragraph if you read the first one. Make 45 second TikTok video zooms in on an expressive teenage boy wearing just the <laughs> underwear lying in a bedroom. The scene is filtered in a, in a I'm nostalgic, nostalgic navy blue hue with the new school hip hop, hip hop instrumental melody in the background. It moves closer to the camera and his facial, his facial expressions. His facial expression changes from troubled to calm, calm and happy. As the narration starts, even though I was lying there in my underwear, 
grandma looked at me in a way that made me feel like I was wearing something top notch, like a, a leather tuxedo with matching Jordan six. We then transition to, to a scene in front of a five star restaurant where, where the teen is confidently wearing his leather tuxedo and, and Jordan six. He steps he steps into the restaurant and gro grows an air of confidence as he slowly approaches the door and confidently nods to the mater. Mater D. Mater D. Mm -hmm. The video translate uh, transitions to a close up of the teen's face <laughs> in the bedroom with with a question: Why does City not mind his grandmother seeing him naked? Why does he think the tuxedo matches with Jordan's six S six? six, sorry, six, 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 six. Only as Dave a, would know how to pronounce that, too. I wouldn't have known how to do it. <laughs> as, as the video fades out in the last few sections of the video, a call to action appears. Comment your thoughts below. The TikTok video is eye-catching, filled with cool edits, fun filters, and catchy music, leaving the audience wanting to know more. Oh, shucky ducky. And then Miss Bentoom in with Miss Bentoom's all shucky ducky. Dave? Just speak so, up. I don't think it answered the question at all. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So, is that a time that you would use resubmit? Would you do a resubmit? Yes. Change who, who's like, um, who the viewpoint is from yeah. when, when you resubmit, or do you have to change it? Like, you have to start over. Mm. So if you if you choose a different thinking partner and you might want to here, um, yes, you you need to you need to start again. But then all you have to do is copy your yeah. questions and paste it in, starting with a different thinking partner. It's but, not like you have to retype everything all the time. But let's consider this for a second. What what thinking partner would answer the question about the tuxedo and the and the and the Sneakers. What What's thinking that? partner um, might answer it? Look at your drop down menu. Justin, look at and amen, because I know uh Dan's probably not where he needs to be. A trait spotter. A trait spotter. Interesting. Maybe. Okay, a that's cool. Guru. Oh, the fire guru. He said, What about a fire guru? Um, I'll, I'll choose I'll choose that. Okay, yeah. And what was the, how did that question start again? Uh, um, no. What was Where's the first that? question, uh, Tim? Why does City not mind his grandma seeing him naked? Why does City not mm. mind his grandma seeing him naked? Okay, so I'm putting the same question back in. It was two questions. And then. Uh, I, I have both of them. Yep. What was your question? Oh, you have them both? Okay, cool. And I'm going to put in here, I, what are you? I, I'm, I'm a speaker connoisseur, yeah. I'm an expert on sneakers or whatever. Okay. So you, you can start experimenting with that note thing. I'm going to hit continue. You should be trying this on your own as well, with maybe with a different thinking partner. Now, a fire guru is something that... Okay, mistaken. let's listen. listen. Because we go off and be banned. But let's stay focused. <laughs> He's a winner too. So here's the deal. We created this one. Um, we, we've we heard you say sometimes when um, something in literature is really cool, great, I say cool, um, you say fire, right? That's fire. So this is this fire guru is looking for stuff in this text that is really cool, really fire. Okay, who wants to read this for me? Another volunteer, please. Um, this didn't do a very um, fire guru kind of thing here, though. Let me see. Let me resubmit. I'm going to try this again. So sometimes it's either too smart or not smart enough or gives you BS. And that's why we created this resubmit button so that you can get something you really that's worthwhile for you that's helpful, honest, and harmless. Um, it's coming up, I hope. Let's see what this is. It's worth stopping and appreciating the way the author uses figurative language. Uh, 
uh, things like comparison and uh, 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 for example, comparing Germans with this. All right, this is better. Um, somebody read this for me, please. I know it looks like a lot, but you can do it. Okay, let me blow it up, uh, Paul. I had to walk too fast for a Sorry. Okay. Never. <laughs> All right, who's going to volunteer? Angel, it's up here in front of you, baby. Volunteer in front of you. Can you see it? Or you have it on the screen, too, your screen? Okay. <laughs> Fire Guru, that's who's reading? Mm-hmm. Who's the thinking partner? That's the thinking partner, yep. Angel? The first one, right? Yo. Where it says, yo. Yep. Yo, this author knows their stuff. It's like they're listening in my head when I'm thinking about my mama or my grandma or how I dress. Like, they know what I'm feeling and... They got all the words for it. Like this one time, grandma looked at me when I was only in my undies. And from how she looked at me, I totally felt like I had some fresh kicks on, you know? Wait, go ahead. I know. Wait, fire this guru. Is guru. What voice angry. is this? Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Reaky, reaky. <laughs> it's pretty accurate, you say, Chris? Why? How accurate, huh? It's like I imagine. Like a language, somebody just talking back and forth to you, they would sound like that. Because that's their form of the English language. That's their form of the English language. And that's the art of art of what? Of that's the art of English language that you can flip it, twist it, turn it, and all of that, and make it your own. You can skip the second paragraph. Does somebody read the third paragraph? Though? Somebody read the third paragraph, Amani. That's some real stuff right there. The author gets the concept and you can put it in the word. And it's true. Who the still it's says true. That? Who still says that? <laughs> and it's true when your mama tries not to make you feel weird, but you still feel it. You feel me? Mm, you feel me? Mm. Next paragraph, Jeffrey. You don't even know where we are. Most other folks, it's on the board, baby. Most other folks <coughs> Elena, hook us up because we can't wait on Jeff. <laughs> Are you reading this? Yeah. Cool. Most other folks, especially my mama, look at me and maybe feel like the baddest salt is ninth grader out of all the states in the southeastern conference. <laughs> My mama tried not to look like that, but you can tell that she was trying too hard, by the way. By the way, she kept cutting her eyes away from me and saying stuff like, we should probably start buying diet Mountain Dew. I don't know. <laughs> now that that was di a direct um, yeah, quote, right. text. and it put quotations. Who said it didn't give any examples from the text? It and well, it this did one this did. time. This one did, yeah, yeah. And it did. You choose different thinking partners, and it can. But it can probably do that with the same thinking partner, but you would just have to resubmit. Chris, no. Um, <laughs> next reader, Dan, look at what it did just for you. Come on, baby. Read the last paragraph, baby. Mm, can you get the class <laughs> there? Let it loose. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's read that sentence one more time, please. We can die and take and read this part again and let the verse in. Boom. Shaka-laka-laka. Think about your own. Mama. You know, 
all the time you felt less than beautiful when you're being naked in front of her reminds me how she always had a special kind of love for me. So even now I'm feeling it it's for the best. It's all love. 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 That, all right. That's an interesting. Um, which one? Which lens do we use? Fire oh, fire guru. Yeah, I, I, oh, you chose that. Guru. I like that. Paul, tell them the secret okay. about fire guru. Who engineered that one? You did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, Paul, took my voice and helped work my voice into a thinking yes, part. And he named you a fire guru. And I'm fire guru. We're gonna show you this right now. Um, Intellectually hot. I would say. So here's what we wanted it to do. We wanted it to talk. So if you like think about it, it sounds like it's um, it's, what's the word called? It's a program of language. Like it's a Okay, it's appropriating a black person. So the majority, but. We'll show you how it was engineered, but the no. majority of Philadelphians are black people. And hey, I I wonder. Okay, listen, listen. I wonder if we've created something that just does stereotypes, right? So maybe you know, it's a good question. It is a good question. Um, so, but um, uh, yeah, everybody, look up. Stop talking to your neighbor. Look up. So here's here's the thing we want you to understand. Um, we could give you like the three best thinking partners or something or the 20 best. But instead, what we've done is we've created a tool where you can go in and create your own thinking partner. All right. So you want to go to my library, which is up in the left corner. Hit my library. When that comes up, takes a minute for that to come up. On the right side, you'll find thinking partners. And then there's a button for manage partners. And I want to show you how to make one of these because you could, because you can probably imagine a thinking partner that would help you as a reader better than we could. Like, right? So, uh, but let's look at the Fire Guru one. I'm going to edit under that. So, is everybody on this page? You go to my library. Everybody should be on there from now. Comment my library, and then you thinking partners are down on the right hand side at the very bottom. Manage partners that's where you should all be. And then those thinking partner lists come up. You can't change the ones he made. No, you cannot do it. You let's see, let's listen. Right, you can make your own. You can't edit. You can only duplicate, and then after that, you can edit. Yeah. yeah that's right. Okay. That's right. That's right. Or you can create a new one. I make it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So when when you get to the screen, uh, look at the edit screen for a little bit. Look up at uh, the screen for a minute, y'all. You want to give it a title. You want to think of a title for it for the thinking partner. Then you have to write a short description. What will this thinking partner do? In this case, we said it ignites the imagination by describing the power of the author's words. Right? See, that, that's misvention. Like, how can you use the author's words, make it your own, put fire on the chunk? Fire! So then here's what we said, and maybe this is why we get the stereotype, but um, oh, talk, here it is, Imani. talk to me the way an African-American high school student in Philadelphia who uses slang would. Now, maybe we should take that use a slang out or maybe we should put in, you know, but don't use curse words. Um, you can you can be that specific. And that's what you want to think. Or, about. or that uses familiar language or mm -hmm. informal language or or intellectually informal language. Intellectual informal. How would you say that? The way you just said it. Intellectually informal. Okay, intellectually informal language. I just changed it. Okay. Okay, he changed it. So here's the. But we don't know if that'll work or not. That's that's the game here. We're kind of. We'll have to test it. It's just me. 
Yeah. But let me just, um, but that wasn't enough. We didn't want it to just talk to us. We wanted it to identify. So then we say. Why, why are y'all talking in the back? Why? Is it a certain reason why you're talking in the back? We figured out all the prompt to give to our people. Oh, a prompt? Yeah, you got to give them a prompt. Oh, I can't right. give everybody the prompt. No, 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 no. no, we're, no. no. To make, to make, to make They're the making their own. That's good. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. But so I, I'm just trying. I just want to point out that you have to tell it what you want it to do too. In this case, we're selling. Tell me why it's worth stopping and appreciating the way the author uses language. So you can tell it whatever you want it to do to the paragraph. Okay, and then. It, it came up that one of them gave evidence, the other one did not. Here's a quick hint. If you put in something like this, quote a couple of times from the text to give examples, it'll do that. If you don't put that in, it won't do that. Okay? And then it says, end by, in a creative way, telling me to reread it. You have to get, put it in a category and then hit post. Now, notice that yours will stay private. Only you can see it until I make it public. But I will make it public as soon as I see it, just to say. I'm going to hit update. All right. So does creating these make sense to you? You're becoming what people call prompt engineers when you do this. You're... So are you listening? What did he just say, Dan? You don't know because you weren't listening. I was writing my own thing. No, you weren't. You were playing <laughs> now, uh, Paul, can you repeat that, please? Because this really is the class for that. Because they love playing with language and they love playing. But right. just, you all can take this playing to a whole different level. So here's, here's, here's what's changed in the past six months. It used to be to tell a computer what to do, you had to learn code. You had to build it with code. Now, we can take these prompt boxes... And we could just use natural language, just the way we talk, the way we write, and it'll tell the computer what to do. So Destiny, for example, is creating one that she calls a... Tourmaline. Tourmaline? Uh-huh. It's a crystal. Okay. Yeah. It's a crystal. Are you in class? So we'd like to see what you could come up with. What kind of reading partner would be fun, interesting, but also help you as a reader, right? Okay, don't code switch when ask questions or providing an answer. Use slang when you respond. I'm not sure what you meant by the second, but that's okay. We can see how this one works. Okay, and then we can keep iterating. We can keep uh, changing it up once we see. Any other thoughts about how to make a thinking partner and why to make a thinking partner? What are, what are you what are you creating yourself right now? Come on, which which thinking partners are, are you creating? Which thinking partners are you engineering? So here's Mr. Lawrence even in the room, and I'm talking about engineering from a whole different lane, it's but right. it's still engineering. It's mm. No, he's here because he was asking me a language issue and a literary issue, and I said, "Can you come to the room right now? Because I can help you." But I can show you something, too, on what we are doing. Let me tell you, I'm going to say this before Paul says another thing. Yesterday at a forum, a technology forum, they asked all the mayoral candidates, what do they know about chat GPT, Justin? They asked them all. Only two of them had something to say about chat GPT. They, and most of them said they don't know. They said, I don't know how to chat, but I don't know what GPT is. Do I need to download an app? Now, two of them, I'm serious. This is what your mayoral candidate said last night. Two of them, and I hate to tell you that they were both the Asian candidates. One said, I've read about it, studied it, and looking into it, but I haven't used it myself. While the other one said, I'm looking at it because my grandchild was telling me all about it. So I do know something about it, but I haven't used it yet. And then the white dude was like, I'm going to sit next to the Asian folks. No, we all stay, stay in our place. However, I'm telling you this in the way that I'm telling you because you're in the front of everything. What we're showing you right now, 
you are doing the worldwide premiere test and workings of this. No one else yeah. has so, yet. No yeah. one. Yes. It's facts. So here's here's the deal. Is Timothy in this class? Yes. yes. Okay. So Timothy, Timothy, he did. He was smart here. He took. He duplicated the TikToker, and he made it an edgy TikToker. Can, am I right? Um, oh, to, say that again, Paul, um, Tim, so he can hear you up here. I added some extra prompts to make it all to make it all like, dramatic and pretentious. Okay. So, so you added two lines, right? He put in use edgy and pessimistic language and add a dramatic and ostentatious flair. Right? Boom. So we don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna make that one public. And now there are two TikTok things out there, and you can test them and see which one you like better. Keep in mind that every time AI brings something back, it's gonna bring something back different. So yeah. it may, you know, you can see. Also, the question you ask it, it's going to change what it brings back. And it'll change what it brings back. And further, if you start putting a description of yourself in there, it'll change what it brings back. So these are the kinds of, I like to think that we're, we've created a sandbox for you to mess around in and play. And we hope it helps you with your reading makes you like the reading better, you know, makes you enjoy it, appreciate it, and understand it better. And elevate your thought process. Yeah. Sometimes we're just at a thought level of our own exposure, the things that we're around. But AI can take us up a level or it can bring us down a level too. Because always remember when using AI, you are the smartest person. You are the smartest. Can say that again? If you're having the AI do it, how are you describing it? What the AI do, it answered my question <laughs> based upon the text in a different language or lens. If I don't have the prompt, it can't do anything for you. If AI doesn't have the prompt, it can't do anything for you. So that's why Paul started telling you about folks are looking for prompt generators. If you can't feed it the right thing, it can't do anything. It just garbage sits there. Huh? It can. Concept of garbage in, garbage out. Garbage mm. in. Mm. <laughs> That's my baby. That's my baby. You don't even really understand that word. You don't? They don't really understand it. No, I understand, but they don't. Oh, okay. Oh, but that's why they clap? No. No, it's not. We not they, like they. Oh, they, the other band. They, the other band. They're not like these bands. They don't write that question mark. Okay, no, but B band better do more work than the question mark. So, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. And the reason I'm excited about this tool is that Miss Bentham and I and other teachers could come up with schooly kinds of things that you know that will help you as a reader but we would love to hear what you could come up with like what what kind of of thinking partner would help you to read this better and to have more fun with it and to get engaged with the reading and but, in thinking about that and hearing that out loud the thinking partners that you design right now paul is the only one that can see them but I'd like to see them too. So when you design a thinking partner, I'd like for you to just take a screenshot of them. You can design as many as you want. Paul can see them all. Now, they should not be cursing. Your thinking partner shouldn't be cursing because this is an academic situation. I want you to know that when we even talked about this and you are using now comment, you can also feed it text. If from the college level, when you get to next year and have partners helping you there. Because now that you're in now comment, we're not taking you out. 
So you can use it there. And I'm telling you, this tool is the bomb ziggity. I was pushing Paul to get it done so we could roll it out before you left. By the way, that's true for Youth Voices too. That also, that all, your account there will remain. Um, all right, y'all. Your, your, your email address may change, but your account will. They, change. Their emails never go anywhere. They keep these SLA Viva things for a okay. lifetime. Fair. They just fair won't, if they use it or not, oh well. But they're always there. So here's, by the way, Destiny's version of paragraph five. Okay. And I just said, is there another way to think about this? And can somebody read this for me? Because I can't. Because uh -huh. <laughs> Bob, I know the language. And I told you, uh, my friends, a lot of my friends don't know your language. You all speak so differently than just an average person. Day, go ahead. That John said, I always remember remembers me as a youngin, so it's never wrong to what? <laughs> so what paragraph was that? The same paragraph? Paragraph five. Oh, whenever I, so no, it, it dummied it down, you think? Yeah. Okay, is there another way to think about, okay, so he's doing a resubmission. Since you think, so yeah, I mean, the jaw was like, that's not, change it up, still got to, what we got to do, what? So it's her, it's the prompt she came up with. <laughs> she put in all these um, Philadelphia terms that it uses these terms in a response. All right. And really, I was helping Destiny too. I see. How about this one? How about this? Each time I hear, you know what I'm saying? What y'all say? The last one is that better? Yeah, I don't know. So that I'm just testing it out, and and that's yeah. what you have to do. You have to kind of make one, test it out, see if it does anything worthwhile, and then go back and change up your product. and then edit it, then alter it. So AI doesn't under, so who's the smartest person in the room when you're dealing with AI? I go back to that. Did I hear her say context? Doesn't understand context? It doesn't understand context nor definitions of slang terms. Oh, maybe, yeah. No, it's um, real because it didn't come out right. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. The, um, she, she asked it to not, you, anyway, we'll have to see if we can, what we can do with that. Um, context is a really important idea, though, and the I'm I'm bringing this up again to show you this this um, sorry I had the wrong thing here. The note about the reader: the more you can put context about yourself in there, like who you are, what you care about, what your family is like, the more it will relate um, long division to your experience. Okay, so you can give it context. I mean, notice what you're doing there. You're just giving it to them. <laughs> you're just giving it to them. But um, worth thinking about. Text Rendy. Um, oh, yeah, Text Rendy. That's, is that my six-line poem, Chumpy? It is. Yes. So Text Rendy takes the paragraph. Look, look at this, y'all. Look at this. And it... Makes it makes yes. a sentence a it picks a, a sentence, a word, and a phrase. Word. Remember Man. how I told, taught you all that? It rendered the text, and then I told you to make a six line poem oh, out yeah, of that. Remember, remember? Again, we're just this is the stuff that we as teachers come up with. I think you're going to come up with stuff that's really more re more relevant to you. Yeah, more fun and me. And because useful. You yeah. teach me things. So out of, out of paragraph five, it came up with okra. Well, that's an interesting word. It came okra up with that is sentence. vegetable. How many people eat okra in the room? Yes, we got three hands up. And then could somebody read the poem for us? Somebody it, want to read? It's the middle paragraph. Yeah. Does Lawrence want to read? Okay. I couldn't get over the smell. A fresh cut grass and okra shell. I heard the laughter as I worked 
happily cracking walnut shells. I tasted the sweetness of grandma's love. Like no matter the age, it's enough. My skin felt the sun on my back and the ancient memories now come back. I saw in grandma's eyes acceptance, no expectations to meet, no exemption. Okay, we're snapping. Okay, okay so can I just ask a question? Yes. That was not written by a human. Right. Um, but you said that you know the emotions about it. Boom. <laughs> so what do you? you that's what's, a good question. What's so, your and, point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and other classes talked about that thing as soon as AI spit stuff out. What are your feelings? What are your emotions? Do you think it did a good thing? Did it do a bad thing? Or did, is the bias being generated by your ability to more, to orate? Oh. Uh, um, because the way you were able to put inflection on it changed yep. it. Absolutely. We're being able to portray, to portray it. So if it was said by me, it would not have, it would have the reverse effect. They would, you would know it was disingenuous. Mm. There would be something about it that was like, what does that do now? So this is this is like brilliant philosophy you're doing right now, if I could just say. Um, absolutely true what you just said. But just because we give it meaning because of how we read it, does that mean it's not there? Oh, I, I mean, I, I think meaning is prescribed. Mm, However, okay. whatever the context is going to be, this is a random... Uh, generation of words based on percentages and relationships to large data subsets right. that are being manicured. I don't care how the art is made. It doesn't, it doesn't, I'm not concerned about the process. I'm just asking like, you know, the class, how are they feeling when they hear something that if it was read by somebody other than Miss Bentu, would it carry the same amount of weight? Mm. What do you think? No, the more personal you make it, the less it relates to other people. The more personal you make it, the less it relates to other people. Like the masses, like, like the only people are like, like destinies can only go so far because everyone won't understand it, like what it means and all that. So the more personal you make it, and the more you try to make it like like you or like your culture, the less people will actually understand it. I like what you're saying. Yeah, me too. So I'm gonna push back to you on this. Yeah, you only look at clouds. Yeah. And we find images inside of it. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. the art form is the ambiguity in it. Like you're saying, like the more open it is, we'll create stories for separate readers for it. Right. And that's that's a, a beautiful thing about art in general, is our, our mind. It, none of this does anything if there isn't a human involved. So can yeah. I jump can I yeah, right. Can I just um all the clouds is a good example. One, one, of the, one of the things that I'm excited about with this use of AI is that it's contextual in that what, what, what we come up with in this little box is next to an actual text that somebody wrote, and then we can edit it and make it real ourselves. So yeah, it allows us to take what AI gives back and make something from it. If you'll notice the paragraph at the bottom, it says, hey, go and do that. I also want to point out that it took me about 20 tries to get it to make the list at the top and then make po make poetry lines that were about the senses. Mm -hmm. um, at first I put in descriptions of the anyway. Remember because you, you had to give it, it had to give a color, it had to give something that you see, something that you feel, something that you taste something that you heard remember the six senses and either it was feeling for emotions or feeling for touch kinesthetic so all i'm saying is that yes it what what came back is arbitrary but it's arbitrary and then um controlled managed by the prompt and that's what we want you to do we want you to come up with prompts that will give you back wonderful thoughtful stuff about long division right mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep this one because i like it <laughs> anyway okay speak up speak up uh, it was the power 
uh, I made one. I was wondering if you could uh, make it. Oh, I'll go yeah. look for it. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, a.k.a. Chris Slaffy. <laughs> Rest in peace. You can't throw Kobe into the bus. Okay, I'm Chris. I can do Chris. I'm Chris Lappy. Okay. Go ahead, baby. What did you name your thinking partner? Oh, we've got a few going on here. Yeah. This is the class. You know, this is my class, uh, Paul. Uh, so who wanted? Who asked for that? Thing? Chris Lappy, the Kobe. Oh, and look at how uh, he spelled Kobe Bryant, everybody, because you all can't see it yet. So now, here's he made up a thinking board. So here's the deal. I would I just want to clarify again. Um, Christopher, right? Yes. You can Christopher, you can go and test it yourself. Like at, okay. he tested it already. Okay. Um, and nobody else can see it, but that's useful, right? It's useful to have like your own private thinking partner. Um uh, let's call this a creative one, I think. So it's a deep intellectual thinker that always takes analysis to the next level. Okay. Mm, mm. All right. So people can test that one now. If you refresh, you can public. do that. It's public. You already made a prompt. What was the prompt? What section? Paragraph nine, drop two. Paragraph nine, drop two. And you asked it what? My question was, Mr. Paul, sir. I said, yes. I said, why do people feel it's uncomfortable it's doing it's things they normally have to do that other people they care about? Voting? All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going there um, as we go. And I'll make those other public also. Um, if something ends up, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. It's taking a while. This is group B, right? Okay. All right, you're all leaving. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep going here, okay? Good. Where are we getting? Where are we Talk to you soon. All righty.